Here I am cutting in uh, YAG again, clear YAG, yttrium aluminum garnet, the man-made synthetic. And this is a replica of the famous 40 carat polar star of incomparable beauty and luster. It is said to be the brilliant, most brilliant, and brightest gem ever cut. There's not too much known in the history of this magnificent gem, other than that it is a fourfold semi-cushion cut with the rounded edges giving him a somewhat of an oval appearance. It's believed to have originated in India and that at one time was owned by Joseph Bonaparte, brother of the French Emperor. Somewhat after his death, it was sold to a Russian prince, Susakov, and it had been in that family for more than 100 years. It was believed that Cartier sold it to them, and the last known origin of this great, beautiful diamond is the, would belong to Lydia, Lady Dieterling, who was the widow of the great uh, British oil magnate Sir Andre Dieterling. This is one of the great diamonds of the Western world. It's a beautiful gemstone, as you can see. Maybe I can pop it. There we are. Now you can see what a gorgeous and glorious gemstone it is. Ouch, that's hot. You apply heat to the top stick. This melts the glue. That's the reason I can get it off easy. And it works nice if you remember not to touch the top stick after you get heated it up. The Polar Star, most brilliant diamond in history. Here is a close-up version of the Polar Star, and hopefully you can notice that there is an umbrella type of uh, arrangement of facets with the culet. Each of these facets are cut at 41 degrees, and then the other mains are dropped in uh, as scissor cuts. It's a four symmetry uh, stone uh, with eight separate addresses and again you can see a little bit better the uh, oval uh, modifications that are made to give the stone its bright luster. Even this cubic zirconia replica tends to show wonderful brilliance. It is truly one of the world's most beautiful stones.